Welcome to the Frozen Friend Club. I'm Scarlett, and today I'll be reading The Ghost of Arendelle from Disney's Frozen Five Minute Stories. Disney Frozen, The Ghost of Arendelle. One afternoon, Anna and Olaf were in the Royal Library when Olaf spied a large pink book. Ooh, I like this one, Olaf said. Wait, what's it about? Anna read the title aloud. How to find a ghost. I love ghosts, Olaf announced. What's a ghost? Well, it's... Anna smiled and put her book down. I have an idea. Follow me. Minutes later, Anna and Olaf burst into Elsa's office. Elsa, Anna said. Olaf wants to learn about ghosts, and I think... We should have an indoor camp out and go looking for one, Elsa finished. Exactly, Anna said. Hours later, Elsa gathered some snacks from the kitchen, and Anna grabbed lots of pillows and blankets from their bedrooms. Then they met Olaf and began to look for a dark, spooky room they could use. They ended up in an old, unused portion of the castle. I can't wait to learn about ghosts, Olaf said. Let's make a fire and roast marshmallows first, Anna said. Ooh, I just love warm fireplaces, Olaf declared. After the sisters had eaten their fill of roasted marshmallows, and Olaf had created a sticky marshmallow tower, they settled down with their blankets and pillows. Is it time to learn about ghosts? Olaf asked. Yes, Anna said. You go first, Elsa. Elsa laid the book in her lap and began to read. Long ago, on a dark night in Arendelle, she whispered, she continued her story as Olaf listened, wide-eyed. A while later, Elsa heard Anna snort. Anna had fallen asleep. Well, Olaf... I guess my ghost story made Anna pretty tired. Come to think of it, I'm tired too, Elsa said as she yawned and snuggled down under her blanket. Maybe we'll find a ghost tomorrow. I'd like to meet a ghost, Olaf said before blowing out the candles. Soon, both sisters were sound asleep, but Olaf couldn't rest. He wanted to meet a ghost as soon as possible. As he looked through the book, he remembered something Elsa had read to him. Apparently, ghosts got lonely and wandered around at night. Sometimes I get lonely and wander around at night too, Olaf said. Maybe the ghost and I could wander together. As Olaf walked down the hallway, he noticed how dark it was. The only light came from the windows. He looked right and he looked left. He looked up and down, but he didn't see any ghosts. Hello? Olaf said aloud. Ghost? I'm here to be your friend. But nobody answered. Olaf turned a dark corner at the end of the hallway and then... Thunk! Thump! Thump, thump, thump! Thump! Olaf tumbled down a staircase! Thump! Anna and Elsa woke with a start. What was that? They asked in unison. Then, I don't know! And where is Olaf? Anna asked. Elsa lit some candles and they wandered into the hallway. Ooh, came a little voice from the bottom of the staircase. Anna gasped. (gasps) That sounded like a ghost, Elsa said. They crept down, down, down the stairs. Hello, are you there, Sir Ghost? Elsa said. We want to be your friends, Anna added. Oh, oh, oh! I want to be friends, too, the ghost said. Anna and Elsa stopped short. Are you ghosts? The ghost said. Wait, said Anna suspiciously. Elsa quickly pulled off the sheet. Ooh, I can see again, Olaf exclaimed. Thank you, ghost that looks just like Elsa. I am Elsa, (laughs) she replied with a laugh. Oh, okay, said Olaf. Then he pointed to Anna. And you are... Anna, said Anna. Olaf, 
You made this our best ghost hunt ever, said Anna. But I didn't find any ghosts, Olaf replied. Well, maybe you didn't, but you became the best ghost-like snowman we've ever seen, Elsa declared. I hope you enjoyed this story time. I know, I loved it. I can't wait to see you again right here for our next story. 